Uh, hi, I am Ashraf and I am Abdi Samad. So we did a little bit pro a little project about connecting uh, Android with Arduino. We think it contains a little bit some interesting ideas and we want to share it with you in the next video. So hope you will enjoy this video. Thanks. If someone wants to start uh, programming in Arduino, the first thing maybe he will do he will buy a starter kit with several uh, electrical components with uh, a guide how to uh, mount the circuit how to program the arduino and uh, yeah things like this and he will start doing this again and again to increase his knowledge his knowledge in arduino so yeah the ba the basic uh, skeleton of a uh, uh, arduino program it has uh, two main functions the setup and the loop in the setup you put something that you want to run just once at the start and the loop what uh, what should be run uh, repeatedly in, in your arduino board and you have to compile this in your arduino ide and after that upload it into your arduino board and check if there is uh, some errors if there is some errors you have to debug your code to debug your circuit and again and again so there is a, a development cycle which is not uh, optimal in this way because you have to upload many times and compile many times and check uh, uh, code and write code many many times so what we think uh, it is a good uh, it is good to have is a mobile application that uh, let you describe the setup and the loop uh, functions and just uh, drag and drop the, the the instructions into your setup and loop functions in the UI and uh, upload it uh, to your Arduino board without without having to to compile each time so the question is how uh, we can program Arduino from Android as Android doesn't have any any compiler or something else. So what we propose is to to create kind of generic program which will be compiled uh, once and uploaded once into our Arduino board and will uh, serve kind of server in uh, in uh, in our setup. So the global design will be something like this. In Arduino, after uh, uh, creating the program by, uh, by, by designing the setup and the loop functions, we will create uh, the program uh, instance and deserialize this instance into bytes, send the bytes via serial into, into, Ardu into Arduino board via the serial. And uh, in the Arduino board, we will uh, 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 use the bytes received to create the program uh, into uh, Arduino and apply it. Uh, here, the program in uh, in the left part and the program in the uh, in the right part uh, have have the same yeah, data structures, but in different languages. One is with uh, Kotlin, the other one is with C. But there is a technology called the protobuf buffers, which lets us describe just the interface or the dis description of our data structures or messages as protocol protocol buffers call it. And uh, after that, it uh, lets us uh, have bindings in different languages. But we are interested uh, for our uh, for our setup for, uh, to just uh, C and Kotlin. And the JavaScript for a, 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 a JavaScript application, uh, but we can talk uh, about this later. So the structure of our protobuf message, uh, yeah, it consists of uh, four main instructions that we think they are the most used, at least in the the most basic uh, commands. So there is this set pin mode. It consists of a mode and a pin, and uh, the digital write. Uh, the, the it consists of a level it can be either low or high and the pin where we want to write this uh, level the analog write it is similar it has a pin value 
where you want to do your analog write and the value you want to write and the last the last one is the sleep the sleep command uh, that's just uh, uh, delay the execution of uh, Arduino program in the in the board yeah uh, I think it's better now to to see how this works in a real setup if you want to follow this uh, with Ashraf you have just to prepare the following material Arduino Uno, Android phone and USB serial adapter a breadboard and three diodes of three different colors maybe red green and blue and seven jump wires yeah I will let you with Ashraf Hello. so first thing you need to do uh, in this demo is to get to our repo and it's uh, it's gonna be a good thing because it basically it contains some basic documentation you can find it uh, you can know more about the process described earlier in the presentation and yeah and also we welcome contributions so if you find something missing uh, we are more than happy to hear your opinion regardless of this i'm gonna show you the big parts in our uh, repo so basically there is the android application that we're gonna need and it's contained in this folder which is the Arduino app it's uh, using the compose uh, jetpack compose library as a ui library plus others and i think it's interesting to explore uh, there is the Arduino library, which contains the C code for the sketch program, plus the generated C code from Protobuf. Uh, the command for generating this is also included in the README. It contains also the Protobuf files used to generate this, uh, uh, to generate the other languages file, which is which are which can be found here, and. Also, for node enthusiasts, you can find the node application which communicates with with from serial with Arduino, and which is also uh, contained here. So, without further ado, I'm gonna show you how you install this library in your Arduino. Basically, you go to the release, and we have here uh, only one release. Uh, you download it. Once it's downloaded. You go to your download folder. Uh, you basically here while I'm clicking, it's already so it has been already extracted. You find the generic program dot in which contains the sketch, the Arduino dot apk, but you don't need to use the apk directly from here for installing the application into your mobile because it's already available in the app store. And I'm gonna show you how to install it. And finally, the Arduino zip which contains uh, which is a library for uh, some C files. So we open the generic program.ino. And since it needs some, uh, it needs some, li uh, the, uh, since here it's, uh, it already uses the library, it needs to know where it exists. So this is why we need to include it. So you go to sketch, include library, add.zip library. And uh, in the add.zip library, you have to go to your downloads location and include Arduino.zip. Here it already exists, but anyway, I can show you if I want to start from uh, clean state. Maybe I just delete what what already exists there, which is uh, here. So I'm just gonna clean it up. Now I'm gonna include the library one second time, and I think now it's gonna show you how it's gonna what's gonna happen in the first time you try to include it. So basically the same steps you go on you go to, to your download location you go to this and you go to rd.zip and now it shows you that it's added successfully uh, once it's added you check that everything compiles we already did but just in case you want to, to, to compiling sketch done compiling and now you need to upload it to your arduino upload upload in here and it's already done uploading and this is the last thing you need to to do from the from your uh, laptop because basically now we uploaded the generic program and now all like the custom programs we need to send only from from arduino and this is and at this part we are already done with the uh, with with the laptop part so now i'm gonna install the arduino uh, application which is the client for our uh, arduino Basically, I have to go to the Play Store, uh, type in Arduino, and then I have the application here. 
uh, I have to install it, of course. And that's it. Okay. So now we're gonna do our first demo, which is basically con uh, connecting uh, Arduino to Android, sending a basic program, which is basically a program that allows the diode to blink. Then we're gonna see whether actually Arduino does what is what is what it should what it should do. Basically, just make the the LED wheels. First of all, in order to send the program for, from from the Arduino application, the RDU application to Arduino, we need to connect both devices. And for that, uh, we know that, that Arduino have this USB, which is compatible with the connector, and thus we need uh, we need an adapter, which you can find uh, on, uh, on Amazon. And yes, with this connector, we can connect it to the on, uh, to Android. And it's already connected. And to make sure that it's actually connected, we just have to go to serial, and it actually already shows that it's, it's connected to the USB device. And you can already see that it's the already the already the only device that is connected. But for projects, it's still empty. And in order to fix that, we have to create a new program. So we add new program, and basically we're gonna make the LED on pin three uh, blink. So in the setup instructions. Uh, we can add already like uh, set pin mode, which is for pin three. It should be output. Then, for the loop instructions, we have to add a digital write instruction for pin three, which is off. Then add a new instruction, which is sleep. And for example, we can add sleep for five hundred millisecond. Then add a new instruction, which is analog write. But for this time, we're gonna make it. Uh, uh, not analog write, actually digital write. So we need to add a new instruction, which is digital digital write. But this time it need, it needs to be in the in the high state. Then we are gonna add the new instruction, which is sleep. And just to make it similar, we're gonna make it five hundred millisecond. And for the name of the program, we can write blinking uh, diode as a name. And that's it. Okay, so now we have the program written. What we need to do next is to make uh, our little circles. So basically we need to connect the ground. to the ground here. Then connect the ground to the diode. Then add a resistor to protect our circles, and this is a very necessary thing. Then connect our resistor back to pin 3. Okay, let's try to run our little program and see what happens. Upload, digital write, the program is written. And now you see that our diode is already blinking. And yeah, and basically I can already play around. For example, I can, I can edit my program, change the sleep duration to, for example, 100 millisecond, 100 millisecond here, save the program again. Uh, reset and for the serial send our new program and now the diode is supposed to blink uh, faster and you already see it that it's now blinking faster by the way to show you also more complex example I wanted to do an energy cycle so I've already written the program which is basically which like switches between pins 3, 5 and 7 and yeah, each time it sits one too high, the others too low, and it just keeps spinning, rotating between them. 
and I wanted to show you that actually you can write more more elegant programs using this like simple simple application. So since it's already edited and written, all you do to, is is to save it. All you have to do is to save it, and basically you go again to serial. Now you go, uh, you select uh, in the program list, in the project list, the RGB cycle this time, and you upload it to Arduino. And you wait for a response confirming that it was actually installed. It's already done. It shows that it's this area list and installed. And now you can already see that there is the cycle. The RGB goes on like, the, 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 it shows like red, blue, green, and it switches on and off during the cycle. And this just to show you that actually we can do decent demos already with this, with these programs. And it goes also always the same thing. Hope uh, you enjoyed what we have just presented uh, here and uh, we are waiting for your feedback and your comments. See you in the next video. Ciao. Ciao.